Here are nine unconventional signs that you're making progress with your chronic fatigue syndrome recovery. My name is Toby Morrison. I'm the founder of CFS Health and we help people get healthy and start living again for those who are suffering with chronic fatigue syndrome. Let's get into it. Number nine, skin color and clearer eyes. This is about noticeable improvement in the skin color and the clarity of the eyes indicates progress, often observed by others before you see it within yourself. We commonly see this when people start their recovery journey with us and they look super gray. Their, their eyes are really bloodshot. They, they, they can't really, you know, they're not really a picture of health and clarity, but more so their skin is usually a little bit looser uh it looks looks a little bit grayer and there's no glow to the skin and what happens as you start to get healthy and as you start to live again and make progress what will happen is your eyes will become clearer so when you look in the mirror you'll see more clear uh you know clear pupils and you'll also see that your skin color is starting to come back to life this is a brilliant sign that you're making progress Number eight, doing more without realizing. This is a sure sign of progress. When you start to do a little bit more around the house, uh, whether that's physical stuff or even using your cognitive function, you're starting to do increased activity levels without even having a conscious uh, idea that you're doing it. So you're almost not even aware of the fact that you're moving around the house more. Maybe you're socializing a little bit more. Maybe you're more interactive on a cognitive level. Again, doing more without realizing is a sure sign of progress when it comes to chronic fatigue syndrome recovery. Number seven, improved digestive health. This is where you know you're making progress when your digestive health starts to improve and what we're talking about here is regularity and consistency in bowel movements this is a sure sign that your gut health and your your gut in itself is healing and that also correlates to a better overall output of your energy not only that it'll actually be way better for your immune system it'll be way better for every system in in your body including your mood right improved digestive health has a uh, has a correlation to improved uh mental well-being and emotional well-being too uh, so this again is a sure sign of progress that is often overlooked so this would be where we're seeing uh you know less and less of constipation or diarrhea and more consistency with with good healthy uh poos number twos that's what we want okay Number six, this is a really good one. A sure sign of progress when it comes to recovering is a return of libido. This is a gradual increase in sexual energy and hormonal balance that really is a, is a sure sign of overall health and well-being too. So you might notice that as you start to get better and work on your recovery, that this is just a natural occurrence. Maybe when you wake up in the morning, there's this sexual urge or this libido that is coming back to life. That is a sure sign of progress. Number five is a revived appetite. This is often overlooked as well in recovery when it comes to making progress with chronic fatigue syndrome, but really a restoration of natural hunger is a direct response to your metabolism starting to speed up again, right? It's really shifting towards better energy utilization and it's a sure sign that as you're starting to get more hungry, your digestive system's working better, your metabolism is working better, and, and all round, it's a sign that your body is utilizing its energy needs and wants. This is again a great sign of progress if you're, you've gone from feeling very nauseous, not being able to eat that much, to being able to eat a lot more and wanting to eat again without all those symptoms. Number four, this is a decrease in symptoms. So one of the biggest things that we find when it comes to progress with chronic fatigue syndrome is the fact that your symptoms start to subside, okay? So what we're really looking for is a reduction in the severity and the frequency of your symptoms that signifies progress towards an improved health and resilience. Again, as your capacity and stamina starts to improve, your health starts to maintain, what will happen is you'll see a reduction in your overall symptoms over time. 
Number three, increased engagement in the household chores and organization of your life. This is something, again, that often gets overlooked on the day to day. And if you zoom out a little bit, you might find that you've been doing a lot more and you've been way more engaged in your household chores and organization skills. This is a resumption of your daily chores and enhanced organizational skills that might be making your own breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Uh, this could be, you know, working in with your family or uh, friends who you're living with that there's a cohesive organization that is starting to happen together versus you being uh, relied upon uh, in a way that couldn't meet your physical capacity originally. So now you're starting to be a little bit more involved in the day-to-day -day life of living. Number two, laughing and singing more randomly here and there. Again, this one is often overlooked. We see this a lot with our clients, particularly in the, the four to five to six month mark in their recovery where they start to say things like, wow, I'm just starting to feel myself again. I'm singing again in the shower. I'm laughing at jokes. I'm kind of just having a bit more fun. And there's this spontaneous feeling that is coming back to life. And again, this spontaneity that's coming back is a sure sign of progress when it comes to recovery. Last but not least, this is number one, one of the most un unconventional signs of progress that a lot of people don't even notice is when the person starts to focus on others instead of always focusing on themselves. And so really this is a, a, a reflection of not so much being focused on your recovery, but now just being life focused instead. And you might be asking people who are in your circle about their life. You might be interested in about their problems that they're dealing with. And you might find yourself talking less about your recovery and suffering and symptoms and you might find yourself talking about life stuff you might find yourself talking about your future goals and your future wants and this certainly happens at around the 6 to 12 month mark if you are going through the recovery process this is what we see inside our mentorship 3.0 where members consciously no longer need to focus on recovery because they're not as ill as they used to be they're actually starting to get better and so that means they need to focus on their life as it expands versus needing to focus on recovery because illness does not exist anymore and so this is where a complete shift happens from going from recovery focused to life focused and again this is a sure sign of recovery i hope you enjoyed that summary hopefully hopefully you really at least picked a couple of them that you've noticed now that you are on the right track with your recovery if you need help with your recovery and you'd like a step-by-step -step recovery plan uh, feel free to put through an application uh, book in a call with our team and we'll see how we can formulate a recovery plan for you so we can get you healthy and start living again all the best for now